What's going on YouTube? Skull Dipper One Two Five back here for another video, and I'm actually going to do different kind of videos. I did mention this in my update vid my update uh, video I did last week or so. I am starting up. Uh, I am going to start doing belt reviews and stuff. It's something I've actually been wanting to do for quite a long time. I have nine belts, but I'm going to knock two of them off tonight. I'm doing the WWE United States Spinner and the version one WWE Spinner Reloathered. And this is, and I will get into this right now. So, without any more talking, let's get it started, shall we? Alright All right, guys, so here we go. My re first reviews on my first two belts, the WWE version 1 spinner and the United States spinner. Alright, let's just get right into this, shall we? First off, um, on the US spinner I did install a silver tip which actually looks really damn good with the uh, belt considering it's all silver. There's no gold plating, there's no like dual plating on it like the uh, WWE spinner. Um, here you got the 2x5 snap, uh, female snaps. On the inside of the toolbox, I think it's um, Midwestern tooling. Uh, WWE World Wrestling Entertainment plate, which a lot of people don't like. I personally don't mind it. Uh, you got the red, white, and blue stitching going all the way to the other side and, and all the way around here you have the you have a star tool stamp the first side plate is a star with a uh, blue out blue diamond outlined going all the way around and I know my camera's not the best here and also in between the diamonds are floral designs uh, you have the American flag here. Blue, white, red. Again, a floral design. Uh, and you have the same two side plates over here. And a 2x8 male snap. So, nothing out of the ordinary with the strap itself. Uh, on the main plate, you have the WWE logo. Uh, diamonds going around uh, both sides. Uh, you have champion right here, and word life U.S. John Cena, and one of my favorite belt spins. Amazingly, uh, I did take the magnet out of this, and actually this spinner part is actually raised up because when I took the magnet out I kept getting this bad scraping noise then I just got a wash nut and as you guys can tell it is raised off the main plate but it is phenomenally it's been so much better it's actually spins better than the WWE spinner and the plates are dual stacked which makes this belt very durable and it does add a lot of weight to it so yeah and this is actually the belt that and I remember when this belt first debuted, and when this first came out to replica, I was like, fuck, I want it, and I, this is the belt that really wanted me to get into collecting replicas. And if you flip it over, no cracks in the leather, which uh, I'm very happy about. I got this for 150 off eBay. Uh, a couple air bubbles, which is very common when it comes to uh, replica belts. You do get them over time. I don't mess with any of my belts, but because of this tip and everything, it does give a lot of weight on the one end. Uh, one thing I don't like though is that when I installed the tip, I don't think I did it. I don't think I did this one right because it is right. The bottom is raised off. It's in place. I just couldn't get the center screw in there, but whatever. It's it's doing its job, and. All that good shit. And actually, out of 200 diamonds or so, it's only missing three right here on the on the U. Uh, here, here, and there. I have the diamond that fell out of here. I just got to get crazy glue and put it back in. These two, uh, they were missing when I first bought the belt. 
So, but again, it's no big deal. I mean, with a belt like this, uh, these these belts are notorious for diamonds falling out. All right, so I'm just gonna move this aside. Put that there for right now. And let's get on to the to one of my pride and joys right here is the WWE Spinner Championship. I actually do have the spinner stopped for right now. Um, I'll get. Into, I'll show you how I did that in a minute. Uh, this again. This is on real leather. Very flexible. Very nice tooling too. Uh, you have you have the shell design going. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, my camera's probably not going to pick it up, but there's a shell design going around the entire strap, going all the way around the edges. Oh wait, here you go. Okay. So yeah, and you also got a, you also got the Midwestern's tooling right here. It's not on the other side for some reason, but whatever. Anyways, you got your two by five snaps, and World Wrestling Entertainment Monday Night Raw with the uh, padlock, which is now re um, replaced with the with this, the WWE Champion plate that way similar on both sides but yeah WWE champion and again world wrestling entertainment and the main plate I don't get this I actually tried taking off this name plate because I wanted to replace it with a um, CM Punk but I, I guess the person who had this before me welded it I don't get why, but whatever. Bastards. Um, the Eagle. WWE logo. Champ. And I actually stopped the spinner. Because right there, I got this piece of cardboard. As soon as I can get this shit out, I actually have it to spin. Yeah, I have a cardboard in there just to stop it. It doesn't damage the bell, and plus, you know. It matches today's. The belt doesn't. Uh, this doesn't spin as well as my U.S. spinner. This. I don't know why. I think the spinner's fucked up somehow. It was like that when I first got it. But overall, I mean, it's a great belt. It's. Um. As a lot of people know, I did have. I still have it. The WWE commemorative version, which I beat the hell out of. But I mean. You compare the two belts, I'm pretty, you can, you can definitely see the difference, just in, just in shine and everything, quality, so yeah, if anybody wants this for like five bucks, you can have it, it's a piece of shit, I don't want it anymore, I beat the hell out of it out of, when I was in a old wrestling promotion, well, backyard wrestling promotion and shit, so, yeah, if you want something just to break, you can have it, just hit me up. But, yeah, this belt does spin. And actually, little known fact, um, even though there's been two versions of this belt made in a replica form, this is technically, this is considered as version 3. Reason being, when this first belt first debuted, this Monday Night Raw play was not here. It was actually uh, SmackDown, it was SmackDown with the uh, SmackDown fist in the middle. Which, I wish they made a side plate for that, because that was a sick looking side, that was a sick looking plate. And my favorite part, on the back, it's all covered, except for that. Which, it's not a big deal to me. But yeah, you, it's all covered, all the bolts, the snaps, well, except for the females. And, when I say flexible, this belt folds up on itself. No problem. And you can't do that with a replica. Not even with those stupid rep uh, strap tricks or replica belt tricks, whatever the fuck they're called. I don't really know. If you collect belts, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And of course, when you just fold, it just comes undone. So yeah, very nice belt. And surprisingly, out of this belt holds 3,000 jewels. Well, simulated diamond. I'm only missing eight. Uh, three here. 
two down here. Well, also one right there. And two right there. Out of 3,000, that's pretty damn good. Alright, so I'm going to switch this back over to my camera. Well, to my computer camera. And I'm show you the flexibility of both belts. And... I'm not even going to bother showing you what it look like around the waist because they do not fit me. I'm too small for them. Alright, let's finish this up. Alright, guys. So, like I said, let's finish up this video. Uh, the WWE Spinner, the championship one, just flat out flexible. I mean, look at that. You can't do... None of my replica belts do that, so... Very flexible. I can pretty much... It's just like the one on TV. Well, was on TV. Folds up. I can hold it any way I want it, all that shit. And this is what it looks like over the show. And I've heard a lot of people say that the wrestlers do not like this belt, and I can see why. It is pretty bulky, and the ends really do stick into the skin. That's why a lot of people would hold the belt like this. Well, as you can tell, it hangs down. No problem. Just absolutely no problem with this belt. I got this for about 400 bucks and worth every penny. It really is. Especially now since they stopped making the Monday Night Raw plate. I wanted this belt. And of course, that's how it looks when it's spinning. Which actually on TV, it never, this, it never really spawned for all that long anyway. So I really don't care. I just wanted this belt. And, like I said, it doesn't even fit me, but if it did, it would prob it would just, you know, but it doesn't fit me, so, whatever. Put this down, very gently, I don't want any more stones falling out. Of course, you have, and, U.S. Spinner. Again, another nice belt to have. This belt's actually not bad to have over your shoulder. Fits very nicely since it's a round plate. And. Uh, very flexible leather. Uh, pretty flexible, actually. More flexible than some of my other ones. Especially on the side with the silver tip. I mean, just as you guys can tell. Just how much of a difference that is. No problem. And I think I can. I can. Ow. I just ripped some of my hair out with the tip. That was fucking lovely. And I think I could probably get this one to fit. Hang on. Doubt it, but whatever. This one's actually not as big as the uh, WWE spinner, so. Hmm. Wow. I'll be damned. Actually fits me. And, uh. This is what it looks like around the waist, so. Yeah. Very nice belt. Um, if you want to start collecting belt, I would definitely recommend and the uh, both spinners. They're just great to have in the collections. Uh, do not handle them too much. I don't handle my belts a lot anyways. But I would not handle them too much because the jewels do fall out, which is which is unfortunate. Uh, is a downer, but it does happen. I mean, I don't really touch my belts, and when I do pick them up, sometimes they will just pop out. But you can, if you find them, you can just glue them back in place. <coughs> or just go on to WrestlingSuperstore.com and order replacements. So, either way, no big deal. Alright, so, I know, this was, I know this was a bit of a long video. I apologize. But, yeah, those are my two spinners. I will start diving into my... WWF, I have, I also have one sitting right here on my TV, the uh, Big Eagle, I got those, um, I got the ECW right here, and the Undisputed, so, that's of right now, as soon as I, I'm, am planning on getting a new belt very soon, and once I do, I'll make a video on that, so, I hope you guys liked it. Later.